channel, it's Caitlin here and today I am doing a makeup tutorial for you. I am just going to address the kind of elephant in the room actually. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe you can't tell. But I'm currently not in my house at the moment. I am filming at my boyfriend's and I think I might be filming at my boyfriend's for a couple weeks because there is a lot going on in my house at the moment. I'm in the process of moving. My neighbours are getting an extension and it's super noisy. Like there is just so much going on at home and it's just impossible to film. So I'm probably gonna be filming here, which means I'm gonna have to get used to this lighting, I'm gonna have to get used to different stuff. So please bear with me if it's not perfect today. I'm not saying I'm usually perfect, but just bear with me. So today I have this makeup look for you. I went for super glowy skin, super bronzed, super summery, and then I went for like a dark, smoky matte eye, which honestly only takes like two minutes to do. It's super super easy. Also I'm back from my holidays so I'm going to be going back to my normal schedule of Tuesday and Friday uploads. I've not been uploading on a regular schedule for about two months now. If you guys weren't aware I was going through exams and I was also going away traveling for like a month so I kind of scrapped my schedule for a bit but I'm heading back to my schedule now. So this video I'm assuming will be going up on a Tuesday so expect videos every Tuesday and Friday from now on and I might possibly do a bonus like Sunday video every now and again if I have time to just film another one and get another one up for you and also another thing which I need to say before I get started is I have been getting a ton a ton a ton of requests recently to do a PR haul and to show you guys what I get sent as like blogger mail um, honestly it's not something that I feel super comfortable doing I kind of find it like a little bit like I'm showing off and I feel really awkward doing it and I don't want to put that on my channel just yet because I'm not super comfortable with that so instead what I was thinking since you guys really want to see it clearly and I've been getting so many requests I'm thinking I'm gonna do a mini one on my Instagram so when this video goes up I'm gonna film and put like a mini video on my Instagram story so you kind of have two videos today so you've got a makeup tutorial here and then if you head over to my Instagram I'm gonna be doing like a mini PR unboxing haul on my story so hopefully that kind of answers your requests without doing a proper video I hope that's okay with you if you would like then feel free to follow me on Instagram while you're there um but yeah head over to my Instagram after this video for like a mini second video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and without further ado I will just get on into the makeup tutorial. Let's go. So to start off for my base I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown face base. I love this and I trust it and at the moment my skin is not that great. The reason why my skin is not that great at the moment is because I've been on holiday for a whole month and I've been wearing sun cream for the whole month and my skin hates sun cream. So my skin is just not in the best place right now so I'm using this primer purely because I know it does really really good things for my skin and I trust it and I know it's not going to break me out or anything so I'm just using this to start myself off. Like my skin physically feels stingy which is so annoying. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Sorry if I'm squinting, it's so bright in here. Um, but I'm going to be using this foundation today. And I'm also going to be adding in some of the Cover FX drops, just to make it more glowy and dewy. Also, I obviously need to say in this video, thank you so, so much for... 150,000 subscribers. I hit it while I was on holiday and I was so unprepared. I was not expecting it at all. So thank you guys so so much. And as I said, I was really unprepared and I was not expecting it at all. So if you have any suggestions of videos that you want me to do as like a celebration and a thank you video then let me know. I was thinking of doing something along the lines of a whole week of videos of my most requested videos. So I would do like my room tour, my makeup collection, possibly a video with my boyfriend if he lets me. Um, I was thinking of kind of doing something along the lines of that because those videos I have never got around to doing and I know are really requested by you. So let me know 
what your thoughts are and what you'd like me to do to celebrate 150 because I want to say thank you to you guys and if there's something you want me to do then I will do that for you. So now for concealer I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant, it's so so bright in here I'm really sorry, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. I'm going to use this underneath my eyes and on my chin. It is really perfect for the summer because it's not too heavy and I love the finish of it as well. And then I'm just blending this in with my beauty blender as usual. So now before I set my concealer and my foundation, I'm just going to go in and use this stick here. This is the Dewy Stick from Ciate and it's kind of like a highlighter but with no colour. So I'm going to pop this on the areas which I want to highlight. It's just going to add an extra glow and just make my skin look a lot more radiant and healthy and summery. So I'm just popping this on these areas here. Down my nose. Here. And then I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend it into my foundation. Now I'm just going to set the areas which I really need to set, so my chin, my under eyes, a little bit on my forehead as well. I'm not going to be baking, I'm just going to simply take a powder brush and just dust it on the areas which I need to set. So this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I love using this, so I'm just taking my brush and tapping off the excess and then dusting it on the areas which I need powder. For bronzer, I'm going to take the NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm just going to use this to bronze my usual areas and I'll go a little bit darker on my cheekbones just to try and create a little bit of contour as well. off the skin I'm not going to be doing any blusher in this look I'm just going to be skipping straight to highlights and I'm going to be taking the Anastasia glow kit I think I'm actually going to use this shade here which is the shade dripping in gold and I'm going to pop this on my cheekbones not too much because I do want to keep this look looking more just natural glowy instead of extreme highlight glam brought you closer, I maybe should have done this the whole time but I've done it now so we can do eyes and eyebrows. So I'm going to be trying out this product here which is the Lottie Arch Rival Volumizing Eyebrow Powder which seems really intriguing. So I'm going to use this today, see what happens. I'm hoping that it's going to be kind of more on the natural side and I'm just going to make my eyebrows look more full and more bushy, I don't know. I'm going to try this, it kind of comes you have to shake it first and then it looks like that. Hmm. Okay, this is cool. It's like a really easy to use smooth pencil kind of. Yeah. I quite like it. It's very natural. You're not going to get like a HD super defined look with this, but I quite like it for a natural summer glowy lip bite. I can never do the other side because it's like swapping hands. For my eyes, I'm going to be using this palette. This is the Coca Blend Zoeva palette, and it has a beautiful selection of shades as you can see here. Honestly, they're not that pigmented. I've used this palette before, and I am not like super impressed with the quality of the shades but I do love the colours and I feel like you can make them work. I do love the colours so I can't help but use it. So firstly just going to start off with this shadow here and pop this in my crease and just blend this over my lid. I'm just using the Sigma E40 brush to put this in my crease. So I'm just taking it back and forward like a window wiper into my crease and then the other side. And 
I'm then going in with the darker shade next to it. I'm going to put this on my crease again. I'm going to place this on my crease and darken up my eyes just a little bit. I think I'm just going to... Ah, dropped it. And I think I'm just going to use the same brush, but just be a little bit more careful with what I'm doing with it. But again, just using the Sigma E40 brush. bring that all the way around as well. Then I'm just going to grab a mixture of those two matte brown shades which we've been using and run them along my lower lash line as well. And the brush I'm using is the E30 from Sigma. And then I'm just going to darken up the top part of my lid once more, taking the matte brown shade mixed in with a little bit of the black and just pop this in my very outer corner to try and darken up the top of my eye just a tiny, tiny little bit more. And then I'm just blending that all together once more. Ahead. I'm going to apply some mascara. This one is just the Roller Lash by Benefit. I'm going to apply this just on my bottom lashes. However, I'm kind of in a pickle at the moment because I do have eyelash extensions on, but they're kind of at the end of their wear. They've been on for about five weeks now, and I really want to put mascara on and fake eyelashes on because they're definitely not as full as they used to be, but I just don't know what to do yet. So maybe in a week I'm going to start putting fake eyelashes on again, but for the time being I'm just going to stick to putting this on my lower lashes. And finally, to finish off my lips, since I'm at my boyfriend's, I actually forgot to bring like any lip products. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm literally the silliest person ever, but I only have one lip product at his house right now, and it is this lip product right here. It is a lip gloss from L'Oreal in the shade Protest Queen. It's one of my favorites, so I'm pretty happy to be using it. Obviously, I don't have options to choose from, but I'm quite happy with this one anyway. This is the completed makeup look which I had to show you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that the lighting and everything turned out okay. I'm not too sure. I will find out when I start editing. But I hope it's alright and that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and you subscribed if you haven't already. And if you'd like to leave a comment with a video suggestion for me to do to celebrate 150,000, then definitely go ahead and write that down there because I would love suggestions. And yes, I think that's everything which I want to say. I love you and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!